did you page me, nurse? Respiratory ninja. I didn't know you were on call today. Yes, what did you need? I think my patient needs an incentive spirometer and a breathing treatment. Why the hell would they need that? Well, he spiked the temperature after his appendectomy today, and I think he is getting pneumonia. Okay, learning point here, nurse. Two things. First, the body increases its temperature as a natural response to trauma, such as oh. I don't know, having your appendix out. Oh, okay, maybe. But he has been here three days, so I think he may have a hospital-acquired pneumonia. Okay, if he has a temperature because of a pneumonia, then he needs antibiotics and an expectorant, it is too late to prevent the pneumonia. Well, you may have a point, but his stats are 88% and he needs a breathing treatment. What were his stats running prior to the drop? He was 96% on 2 liters nasal cannula. So what happened that his sats dropped? I helped him to the bathroom, and when he got back in bed I hooked up the pulse oximeter, and it was reading 88%. Okay learning point again. If you run out of eggs at home do you go to the store and buy milk? I don't do the shopping, my mother does. Would your mother buy milk if you were out of eggs? That depends, what is she making? Well, not omelets because you are out of eggs. You are missing the point. Take me through the incidents leading up to now. I asked you for an incentive spirometer and a breathing treatment, and then you sent me out for milk and eggs. Not about that, with the patient and his sats dropping. Oh right. I took off his oxygen, and walked him to the bathroom. When he finished he got back in bed and his sats were 88%, and he was short of breath. Okay, recap. In bed on oxygen his sats were good. Yes. Off the oxygen and walking to and from the bathroom his oxygen was low. Yes. Back on the oxygen his sats, got better and his breathing was easier. Yes. So what do you think was wrong with him? He had dyspnea on exertion off the oxygen? Oh I see. He has exercise induced asthma. So I was right about the breathing treatment, one out of two ain't bad. What were you saying about the grocery thing? I was trying to tell you that his problem was low oxygen and he just needed an extension for his tubing so he could have his oxygen as he walked. Well, he can't leave the hospital just now. Why would he leave the hospital? Didn't you need eggs and milk? No, I was trying to make an analogy that if you are low on blood oxygen levels you need more oxygen. Then why were you asking about eggs? Because I'm new here, and I didn't know how stupid you were. I'm sorry. Oh, that is okay. It happens all the time. So are you going to give the breathing treatment now? Is the patient in distress? No, he looks good now, but earlier he was in distress. Well, you should have called me then. I can't give a stat treatment unless the patient is in distress. Okay, I will call you the next time before he gets up and then by the time you get here he will be in distress and you can give the treatment. Okay, that sounds good. Thank you respiratory ninja. Oh, no problem. Always glad to help the patient. The world.